So Super Bowl, Kendrick's headline. This is I know. I heard that. Right. I didn't know there was something else going on. Yes, there's something else going on. So this is just a brief little summary because everybody knows what's going on now. Um, Kendrick Lamar is appointed to headline the uh, Super Bowl in New Orleans. So he's going to be the halftime show, and it's going to be fucking phenomenal. I've seen Kendrick twice. The best performer I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I, I saw him once, and it was fucking... You know what I liked about his show? It was just him on stage. Yes! He fucking owned the whole performance by And himself. it's a performance. It's yeah. not him just... Which I do like. I'm not going to trash on this way of rapping, because I do enjoy this. But uh, uh, the way of rapping I'm, I'm, I'm referring to is just someone getting on stage, no performance, no art. It's just them live recording over their songs yeah i like to i like that in the right venue for a listening experience yeah. right like if i'm going to go to a music festival i want that type of rap i want that type of live performance yeah but if i'm going to go to an arena or some like like the singer or like anywhere else i want to see a performance mm -hmm. you know what i mean like does, does that like make sense show. yeah i, I want to show, show. Yeah. and whenever people go to the halftime show well, Halftime show. Yeah, there you go. There you have it. <laughs> and there you go. End of discussion. End of the end of the podcast. We'll see you next. And next episode. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, I don't think Lil Wayne would give us that. And people are are saying it's in New Orleans. Wait, back why? Me up, back me up. Why? Why is Lil Wayne even in the discussion? It's in New understand. Orleans. So people want. So just because he's in New Orleans. Yes. Native? Okay. Right. So people have been uh, uh, bitching about oh they're picking Kendrick because he's like the most popular. Blah blah blah. Even though they do that every year with like the most popular artists. I don't know why people are bitching about it now, but a lot of people are salty because it's New Orleans. Nola, you want Lil Wayne. I can understand that at a very basic level. Yeah. Very at a very 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 basic level. Well, we're also talking about the Super Bowl, the most watched television program in history. Right. So like And have y'all seen Lil Wayne's recent performances? I have not. He is yelling. It does not sound good. It's not a performance. I love Wayne, man. Me too. But he he's not a good performer now. And he he does the type of a rap that you expect at a, uh, like, a really hot, like, Wheezy Fest. I mean, his own fucking yeah, festival. Yeah. You expect that. Um, but whenever you go to the Super Bowl, halftime, show, like you want to show. And in the dome, dude. In the dome. Last year, or maybe the year, but when the fuck did, was it at SoFi? And it was I don't, in the middle of the day. They had everybody come on. It was like. Oh, oh, new. oh. Was that last year? No, that was, um. That was two years ago, maybe. Yeah. I don't. I don't fucking. But, I know what you're talking about. That, that was legendary. Show, what I what I really hated about that show. More, I mean, I loved the music because it was like everybody, f fucking everyone showed up. You know, like everybody yeah. was fucking, like all the best artists you can think of were on that stage. But what I didn't like about that show was the fact that that stadium is open air and the game was during the day. Yeah. So there was the lighting element. Now, yeah. In the that's dome, true. dude. It's going to be theatrical as fuck. You can do whatever fuck. the fuck you want. Yes. In the dome, dude. The dome is we the dome. Got, like. Dude, we have a. Fuck, I forgot the number. Uh, uh, the, the amount of millions that we were given for this. Do you know the Super Bowl renovation? I think it's like three to four hundred million for, that we were given. For the dome? Bro, I'm taking you to a game, and whenever you see the shit that's renovated, you're going to blow your. You're gonna, yeah, I'm gonna you're blow gonna, my brains out. You're gonna bust everywhere. <laughs> you're gonna bust everywhere, dude. There was another spot for me to get my fucking Bloody Mary. I didn't have to wait in that line. There was there. Oh, it's gonna, there's oh, new food. Booze for the there's new food everywhere. Imagine it's everywhere, dude. It's like so many options. Everything's revamped. Oh shit, dude. It's, yeah. it's fucking phenomenal. Yeah, let me know. Yeah, I will. Know. I will. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna get a Bloody Mary though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, it's not. Yeah, you're not susceptible to uh, uh susceptible. Maybe is that the word I'm looking for? You're not subjected. So su yeah, subjected. <laughs> you're not subjected to just one fucking like outside tailgate yeah. booth of liquor. You know what I mean? I hope they clean up the bathrooms. Too. Oh, the bathrooms are phenomenal. Everything's yeah. fucking new, dude. You remember the fucking piss, or the urinal? You have to step on that thing to get the water. To is that that big like metal trough? Well, no, the circle thing in the center. You got to step on. I don't it. think that's there anymore. Okay, good, because I, dude, I didn't even. <laughs> I just wa I washed my hands and walked away. I was like, fuck it, I'm out. Like it, it was a. It was disgusting in there. Yeah, I don't I don't like pissing in big fucking long troughs with no dividers. You know what I mean? <laughs> like uh. <laughs> look, get in, get in there at the, at the trough and ask the guy next to you, "Who's your barber?" 
<laughs> Who does your work? Yeah, I'm like down there with my hands in my shirt, act like I'm armless, like, hey man, can you give me a hand here, please. <laughs> you just uh just unzip it. I know it's weird, just just can you give me a hand? <laughs> All right, but yeah, Maybe so too. yeah, so not Lil Wayne for sure. No, we we want Ken Drake. Not not Lil Wayne, but and I'm really looking forward to him calling Drake a pedophile. Oh my world. god. See, I read I don't know the, I don't know if this is true. I read somewhere that Drake put out that it would be a defamation of character if Kendrick performed that live. I don't know if this is true. I didn't look into it. That is something that he would do. But he, he has no legal ground to do that. It's Kendrick's song. He can do right. it. It's an expression of art. So Right. So if Kendrick class, really wants to fight just... it, if the thing that I read was true, please take it with a grain of salt because it was on a fucking TikTok. Kendrick can go fucking suck his own dick or yeah. whatever he's sucking off these days. Cause, or not Kendrick. Drake can go suck right, his own right. dick. Because Kendrick, I need to hear not like a Certified lover boy, certified pedophile. Wah, dude, the whole dome saying wah, 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 oh, Everybody's going to be, dude, yeah. this place is going to be bouncing, bro. Yeah. The fucking roof is going to be rippling. Like, and the even even, logo will be bouncing. Even if there was concern about the defamation, whatever, do you think that the NFL is going to turn down the biggest number one billboard that will guarantee more engagement in their program? Bro, it, it, Even you're, if you're, they end up like slapping him with a fine. He'll pay that yeah, shit with yeah, a smile yeah. on his face. Like, oh yeah, give me some more. What else you got? Right. Like, yeah. Right. And uh, and going back to Lil Wayne. So. This is, people are acting like this is the only chance that Wayne has had to perform in New Orleans for the Super Bowl. Do you know how many times it's been in the in, in New Orleans, the, the uh, Super Bowl? I do not. Ten. Damn. He has had ten chances to do it. Oh, yeah. So, what, what, the, why, why now? And I'm so, like, aggravated at the whole thing because he made a video Saying like, hey, uh, I really appreciate the fan outreach, um, wanting me to be in the Super Bowl. Yes, I'm really hurt. I'm going to bounce back from this. Not once in whatever type of fucking apology or like sympathetic drawing video that he posted, did he mention good wishes to Kendrick, another rap artist mm. that he's in the same game. He never said, but yeah, Kendrick deserves his flowers. But Kendrick, good job. Well, like congrats, He's just it, it's know. just a fucking pity party the entire video, and it's really fucking aggravating. And it and it it really it shines a really bad light on his character it that he's saying like, oh, woe is me. I, I I didn't have ten fucking chances to do it. Blah blah blah. It, it's it's fucking stupid. Stop bitching about it. Get your performance up, and maybe someone will consider you for a bigger event than Wheezy Fest. I was about to say, don't you have your own festival? Though? Right. Like, go, go do that. Christ, I'm going to go listen to the Carter one and and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and remember how good you used to be. And I see here you've written a note that he's not a Saints or an LSU fan. Yeah, so he's he, not he, even a fucking Saints fan. What about the Pelicans? No. Damn. Shit. He goes to the games, but he doesn't rep it. I think he reps Green Bay. For oh, some he reason, he fucking does. I've seen him in like a retro Green Bay, yeah, uh, uh, like Letterman. Jacket. I think he led yeah. them out one time. The fuck? <laughs> it's fucking Green Bay, Michigan. What the? Uh, whatever. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's why you're not headlining the fucking Super Bowl. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> How about you fucking like say that I love Drew Brees and people might fucking, you know, real quick week three prediction: Who's going to the Super Bowl? Week three prediction, dude, we're going and we're winning all the way. So we got our new offensive coordinator, and all of a sudden, bro, the do you have think woken the fuck up? I've been talking about it for years. <laughs> Pete Carmichael, the thirty second least creative playmaker the past two years. There was statistics on that. What? Yes. And look at us now. Look at the formation. Well, watched the game that you were at. Holy shit! Yeah, the first the first game. Yeah, that, you should have like watched a, the Dallas game. 